welcome back to Just Keep Skating. Today we are doing the fakie Smith stall. And um, this is like my second or third try to film this. There's like roosters and grinders in the background. We're just gonna go with it. So, the fakie Smith stall. The first prerequisite you're gonna need is how to be able to do a fakie disaster. If you can't do those, it's not worth trying this trick. The fakie disaster is this one. Why you need to be able to do those is you need to know how to pop your wheels off and you need to know how to get back in. Also, when you mess up on the fakie Smith stall and maybe land like this, if you know how to do a solid fakie disaster, you can usually salvage them and pull them back in. So that's really important to know, but let's get into the fakie Smith stall. So when doing that, there's a couple things you wanna know. So you're riding up, foot positioning, foot positioning is I have my back foot a little more on the tail, like just kind of splitting that line, but so that I have control over the tail. And my front foot is just enough that the leading edge of my foot has contact with the nose and can kind of push back in if it has to. So all that being said, you don't actually pop back into these off the nose. Like you're not gonna lift up and ride back in like that. So first up, you're gonna ride up and kind of open your shoulders. So as you ride up, you open your shoulders. I kind of eyeball the coping. And what I really want to focus on is that I land with this back wheel hitting the coping and my kingpin on this side. Now, if you land like this, it's not critical. You could still come back in, but I would suggest that if you land wrong with this wheel touching the coping, you might want to bail out of it. It's also going to be a really good idea to try and learn this on something small enough that, you know, your consequences for messing this up or not knowing how to run out of it aren't going to be that bad. So I will always recommend that on any transition thing, you usually want to try them on smaller ramps first. Okay, but let's do one of these. All right, so the easy setup trick for this is obviously going to be a rock to fakie. So rock to fakie. Now next one, I'm going to open up my shoulders and pop off the coping. Open up my shoulders, pop off the coping. Okay. Now let's get into the nuances of this trick. So as I'm riding up, I'm transferring my weight not only onto my back foot, but onto my toe side. So it's almost like, it's almost like I'm riding up like this. Dunk. I land in there, all my weight is on my toe side. So the ball of my foot, you know, you gotta visualize like there's a line in your board, your trucks make a line. That's an axis that tilts. The ball of your foot wants to be putting pressure on that side. To get out of these, what happens is you transfer that weight back onto the center of the axis. So you got your wheels everywhere locked in just right, and you're transferring that weight, and that's gonna roll your board back over like this, and then you kind of swing your shoulder back, look down the ramp, and it should, just kind of come out. And if it's needing a little help, that front foot that's kind of on the nose is what's gonna kind of help you toot, lift it back in. Or if you land in this like this, you know, like not with your truck on, you can often salvage them by just turning them into a fakie disaster. So there's some little tricks to it like that. But I do think the fakie Smith stall is a really good trick to help you learn how to come back in from frontside grind tricks. So well worth learning. I think it's pretty simple, pretty safe if you got a fakie disaster. And hopefully, you know, this all helps you learn them because they're fun. And then, you know, eventually down the road, you can do some different variations like this one.
<laughs> I was trying harder to make it look better. You guys get the idea. So Fakie Smith stall, great trick to learn. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Thanks for watching, just keep skating. Till the next one.